Hey everyone, it's your girl Angel and Phoebe here. Hey, say hi Phoebe. Yes, we are matching. We got our red and blue polka dots on today. <laughs> y'all, if y'all are on our Instagram, you know Phoebe is a hot mess. So things have been going great with us. So in today's video, we're gonna be going over some things that Phoebe does not like and that I possibly don't like either that we have gotten from our puppy haul. Some things that just didn't work for her or didn't work for me and we're just going to share those with, it, with you guys. Dogs are different and puppies are different so they may work well for you but this is just our honest opinions on some of the things that we've gotten that we probably could have left at the stove, okay? <laughs> so if you want to see some of the things that me and Phoebe just didn't care for it too much, then keep on watching. So the first thing I'm gonna show you guys that Phoebe does not care for that was in our puppy haul video are these puppy teething rings. She does not really use these. She does not like them at all. I do not know why. I saw a lot of puppies do like them, but she just, she doesn't like them. So Phoebe is really picky with certain things like these. So I would not buy these again. Um, if these work for you, let me know. Let me know if they work for you. The next thing that I really did not, it's not that I don't a hundred percent like it. It's okay. It just didn't blow me away. I see a lot of great reviews for earth bath and this i feel like it made her hair dry it just wasn't very moisturizing it smells really good i can say that like this smells excellent and it's not crazy loud it just smells like you know cherries it smells like cherries um but i just i don't care for it that much next up is the earth bath puppy spritz this smells so amazing and so good just like the shampoo but my issue with it is now i'm gonna use this thing up because i do like how it smells but my issue is it makes phoebe look kind of dusty i don't know if that's the right word <laughs> it makes her hair look dull if if you get what i'm saying it doesn't have that nice shine to it like it usually had and i'll spray this on and then her hair just looks kind of like unmoisturized so i probably won't buy this again next up is the burt's bees nourishing leave-in conditioning spray i tried this and i don't feel like it did anything it didn't do too much it was just i don't know it just feels like water in a bottle to me it didn't feel like it moisturized i used it on her I want to say not after a bath but i use it on just a normal day just to kind of like comb through her get like some little kinks out and i just don't really feel like it did much i wouldn't buy this again at all i'm going to use it but i would not purchase it again it did not do anything for her at all that is this bad boy <laughs> remember this remember i said i was gonna be walking around looking ridiculous in this well i did one day but phoebe didn't like it she don't like being in here she was okay for a little bit, but I felt like she was uncomfortable and I'm pretty sure she has grown out of it now because she's bigger now. But it was just something, and then with me too, it was just something about it that just didn't sit right with me that her, her little parts was like here. I don't know, I just, I don't know. It just didn't work for us. It didn't work for us and she'll probably never use this again. Next up is this, we have used this actually a few times but I'm not gonna say that I hate it or dislike it it's just not something that if I got another puppy or if she needed a bigger size that I would buy it again so when I tighten this up so she sits in here and when I tighten this up I have to tighten it kind of enough to where her I feel like her neck is uncomfortable in it and then she sticks her arm out through here i don't know it's just not a good situation after she's been in here for a while and she don't i don't think she likes it too because obviously she's growing but in the beginning i'm sorry i keep looking over here to make sure she's not in anything <laughs> but she's growing 
I don't think it's good for longer legged dogs or puppies. Phoebe has longer legs. Like she's not a short leg Yorkie, she has longer legs. And I feel like she's uncomfortable in here. She doesn't have like a ton of room. Um, I feel like if I got a bigger size, I don't think it would make much of a difference because she did fit really well in here, but I just feel like her, her legs just was uncomfortable for some reason. I felt like she was, like her legs, she got legs. She's a model, okay? You have a smaller puppy with, um, you know, smaller legs. I mean, it'll work better for you, but as far as she goes, I, I probably, I, we didn't use it. This is this bad boy. She has been in here a couple times for pictures, but that is it. She has probably fallen asleep in here while I was taking her pictures. But other than that, she's not going to stay in this on her own. As the lady from Home Goods said, she gets a lot of returns on these because the puppies and cats won't stay in this. Reason two why I, like, I don't like it is because it's not very sturdy. Phoebe will get in here and this will start kind of like moving and wobbling and stuff and I don't it doesn't it's not very safe to me. okay last but not least is our friend the snuggle puppy yes the snuggle puppy I I do not like this thing at all I know I had some people tell me that it worked for their puppies and that's great but for us mm -mm. no 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 so since the very beginning we tried the snuggle puppy out and he did not work for Phoebe at all. I think the heartbeat on it just distracted her even more. So this is the heartbeat thing. And you turn it on. Can you hear it? It's kind of strong and loud. So I think it was too much for her and she didn't like it. So I would let her, I would leave this in her crate, but I wouldn't let this be turned on, I would just have this in there pretty much as like a stuffed animal. A few nights ago, I heard her messing around with something like going really extra hard in her crate and I peeked in there and I'm like, oh, okay, she's just playing with her puppy or whatever. So I went and laid back down. So after a few minutes went by, she's still like going really, really hard in her crate with this thing. So I'm like, let me look in here and see what's going on. So I went and turned the light on and come to find out that she took this out and i'm like okay that's not bad you just took this out so i grabbed it and took it out next thing i know she took this heating pad thingy out that i forgot was in there my fault yes this is my fault i left this in here but i never thought that she would be able to get inside of it and she tore it open so i wasn't sure how much she ate so i'm like like Please, I hope she didn't eat that much of this stuff. So come to find out she did. So eventually we went back to sleep and I want to say about two hours later, I hear her panting. So she's panting in her crate. I take her out and I'm seeing what's going on and she didn't threw up. So I'm up trying to get her to drink some water, trying to see what's going on with her, trying to make sure she's okay. And when the, after the whole night, was over she threw up another two times in my living room on my carpet so after she ended up throwing up she was completely fine she wasn't panting anymore she was okay i thought i was gonna have to end up taking her to the er because i was just you know not sure but i went online and read about the contents that was inside of this she would have had to ingest it like a whole 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 lot for her for it to be like fatal so I gave it some time, but she was completely fine the next day. I did notice that her poop was a lot darker because she had ate this, but it, I felt like it was all coming out of her system and she was completely fine. But my thing is buy the snuggle puppy at your own risk. Make sure that they are supervised when they use this thing. Even though I was laying right next to her crate, like her crate is right next to my bed. She still ended up getting inside. And the thing is it's only like Velcro 
So it's really kind of easy for them to get inside of here if they really wanted to. So get the snuggle puppy at your own risk. I don't think it's necessary at all, to be honest. Just get them a regular little stuffed animal if you have to. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that my review of some of these items were helpful for you. Um, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. I know it's been a minute and we haven't really been posting. Phoebe is a handful, okay? So making these videos <laughs> is kind of like, I just do them when I can. So I hope you guys understand, appreciate all your feedback and all your love. And you guys are amazing. And my little Phoebe, hi. She appreciates you guys as well. Thank you for watching. Say bye, Phoebe. Say bye.